Hey, Journey Mora. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do the tripod lashing. So make sure you stick around, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more outdoor content. Let's jump in. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. The tripod lashing does exactly what you think and it makes a tripod. So in order to do this lashing, you've gotta have three sticks or posts and I've got three that are right at the same length here so make sure when you're picking out those sticks make sure the same length because if you got one that's really short or really long it's gonna throw off the tripod so just like the other lashings you start this one with a clove hitch so I'm gonna choose my outside post here as you can see I've got a stick under these posts what that does is that lifts these up off the ground so as I'm doing the wraps, it's gonna make it a lot easier because I'm not gonna have to lift them up every single time. But I'm gonna start my clove hitch in here. That way I can move out, so I've got plenty of space to move here. I want at least six to eight inches above my lashing. That way it's not gonna slip off, there's no chance of that. So, clove hitch. I'm gonna come underneath my first post here just focusing on it. I'm gonna pull plenty through. Come back around again. And I'm gonna cross my ropes. That right there. I'm gonna come back underneath. I'm gonna put this through the bottom of the X and come out of the top of the X. And once I get it right in here, I'm gonna pull both ends tight. Now from here, we're going to alternate somewhat in a figure eight motion, but because we've got three sticks, it's gonna add another loop on the end of that figure eight. So let me show you. Going from the clove hitch, I'm gonna go underneath my second post, and I'm gonna go over top my third post. Now I'm gonna come around my third post, and I'm gonna come up in between my third and my second post, and then I'm gonna wrap over my second post. And then from here, I'm gonna come under my first post, then over my first post, under my second, over my third, wrap around, do the opposite. Now with any lashing, I'm going to do at least three wraps on my post. I'm probably going to do in between three and six wraps. So really no more than six, no less than three. With this rope, as you can see, it's relatively short. So now when I go into the frapping, I'm probably only gonna do one frap on each wrap set here. Let me show you. So when you frap, you're gonna come underneath your wraps, up through, I'm gonna pull that tight, just like that. Now I'm gonna come underneath the middle post and go do it on the other side. I'm gonna come underneath the wraps here, wrap around. Now from here, I'm gonna do another clove hitch to finish it off. I'm gonna end with my clove hitch opposite to the other. So I started on the bottom of my wraps on my first pole. I'm gonna end with a clove hitch on the top of my wraps on the third pole. So let's go ahead and stand this up and see what it looks like. Pretty big tripod. I can walk through it. The really cool thing about a tripod is you can use this for a lot of different things. We can make multiple of these and run some posts through the top of them. Maybe hang some stuff in the middle of them. We can actually hang something in the middle of this tripod. So the great thing about this one is it's so large that I could actually hang a rope around one of my 
fraps here, hang it down here, put this over a fire and hang a Dutch oven or a pan or something over the fire to cook food. So these are very versatile, can be used for a lot of different things. So they're very neat. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is the tripod lashing. If you want to learn how to do the other types of lashings, you can jump on over, check those out. We've actually released multiple videos at once, so that way you guys can see those and get all of those skills all at the same time. Lashings are really fun and they're a lot easier than they seem. It's just learning how to do it and then practicing it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'd love for you to be a part of the Journey More community. Come journey more with us and we'll see you next time.